He is best known as the prime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway in Aruba, but this morning, Joran Vandersloot is going on trial for another high-profile case in Peru. NBC's Lilia Luciano is in Lima this morning with more on this. Hey, Lilia, good morning. Good morning to you, Anne. After 19 months in a Peruvian prison, Joran Vandersloot will stand trial today, accused of the murder of a young woman killed five years to the day that Natalie Holloway disappeared in Aruba. Prosecutors in Peru say Joran Vandersloot confessed to cold-blooded murder. In his taped interrogation with police, they say Vandersloot admits he strangled his victim. Vandersloot is set to go on trial today for the murder of 21-year-old Stephanie Flores, a college student he had met days before while gambling in a casino. On the tape, Vandersloot says he beat her so hard with his elbow that she started bleeding. Then says he gripped both hands around Stephanie's neck until she stopped breathing. Vandersloot's attorney says the confession was coerced, that he hadn't slept in days and didn't understand the language well. Holding back tears, Stephanie's father says he hasn't been able to mourn his daughter's death a year and a half later. I hope the day Peruvian justice read his sentence, I will finally be able to pray. Today, Flores will come face to face with his daughter's alleged killer in court. Flores died five years to the day that American teenager Natalie Holloway disappeared in Aruba. Vandersloot has never been charged in that case and denies any wrongdoing, but Holloway's mother still blames him. Both of our daughters met their fate at the hands of the same killer. Beth Holloway says the trial in Peru is a step closer to justice. And I would have done anything in order to, to, to have this day for, in Natalie's case. Charged with aggravated murder and theft in the Peruvian case, Vandersloot faces a 30-year sentence if convicted. Good behavior and time served would shorten that sentence. A guilty plea could translate into just a few years behind bars. He would end up probably with a sentence of 20 years, which means he could walk out in eight to seven and a half. Van der Sloot's attorney says the Dutch national was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder from the constant questioning in the Holloway case. Peruvian attorney Sandra Monteblanco says that is not a good defense strategy. I think he thinks he's smarter than everybody in that courtroom. A man police say came to Peru to gamble in casinos, now betting on his own fate. We spoke with Vandersloot's attorney late last night. He says after talking with his client yesterday, he's now 80% certain Jorn Vandersloot will plead guilty today. And back to you. All right, Lily Luciano reporting live from Lima. Thank you so much.